So you're probably wondering why I decided to show you this photo of a cow with a brush. Um, she looks happy, right? She looks healthy. Well, this is exactly what I want to tell you about today, how the environment we live in can affect our health. During my studies as a veterinarian, I became fascinated with the different strategies animals use to fight infections. I learned how genes coding for strong immune cells, for example, can be transmitted from parents to offspring. But somehow I kept thinking that something was missing. What if genes alone were not enough to predict disease resistance? What if the environment could also play a role? So this quickly became one of the first research questions I aimed to address as part of my PhD. Now, studying the interactions between genes and the environment obviously requires a massive sample size and a very short-lived animal model so that we can study traits across several generations. Now, an ideal model for that are insects, uh, which is why I work with crickets. Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of crickets. So to answer my research question and see whether the environment affects immunity, I infected crickets from different genetic backgrounds and I recorded their survival following infection. What I found was that the outcome of an infection, so either death or survival, could only be partly explained by genes. So that was an exciting result because it was telling us that, yes, environmental factors really can affect the course of an infection. So things like nutrition, temperature, animal density, hygiene, stress level, these things all matter. And these factors are part of what we call ecological immunity, which is when animals adopt certain behaviors in order to protect themselves against infection. So for example, an individual can practice self-medication and increase its consumption of certain nutrients in order to slow down the growth of a microbe. That's cool, right? Well, this is precisely what I will be looking at in the next chapters of my thesis. I will be studying diet, temperature, and social preferences of crickets responding to an infection. And I'll see how their behavioral preferences can improve their survival and reproduction. So there you have it. Now you can see that this brush is so much more than just a brush. It's a symbol of animal well-being at its finest and of the positive impact it can have on animal health. Now, while my work is unlikely to change much for cricket's health, I hope it inspires you as consumers, bright consumers, <laughs> to ask <laughs> for better animal welfare measures because Really, at the end of the day, happy, healthy animals are key to a happy, healthy world. Thank you. <laughs>